Hello Warfighters, War is Hell. Welcome to a brand new episode of Arma 3 Gameplay. This is going to be alternate history where we are taking a look at what could have happened at the US, UK, and its allies gone to war with Iran in 2007. This is going to be a pretty fun mission because I have not done an air assault mission like this before. So big thanks to Wolf for helping out with this uh, since he is the one who is going to be Zeusing this. Now, one of the big things when it comes to the reconstruction of Iran, and this would be something that would be key and vital during the invasion, is making sure that an economy is secured. And knowing that Iran is heavily dependent on oil, we're going to be moving in to capture an oil field. One of the things that we have been seeing throughout this entire campaign is that Iran has been more willing to destroy its own oil wells than it is to see it fall into US, UK, and other coalition hands. So as we move in, what we're going to try to do is get some eyes on a nearby oil well or a series of oil wells. We're going to be the 101st. We're going to be going in, just kind of getting a good idea on what we're going to be up against. And then we're going to call in the rest of the 101st to help attack this position. We've also got a couple assets as well that you'll see here in a little bit. But of course, as part of this, we're going to go ahead and get to the briefing just to give you a rundown on all the things that have happened since the last episode and what's brought us up to this point. Now, here are the battle lines. Uh, from the last episode. We had a lot that happened, particularly in the South, with the invasion by the U.S. Marines, and they have linked up with the forces on the Eastern Front. Those on the West, the movement has been slow since they are dealing with the main defense of Iran, but they are making some progress as well. Now, as everybody's starting move to the middle, we're seeing that not only has the addition of the Marines been helpful, but we've also had some additional reinforcements come in from the national draft back in the US and the UK. So for this position though, as we're moving up, like I said, these types of areas are vital. We're expecting, and this is what we've seen at some other important oil wells around the country, that there is a military presence. Here we believe that they've occupied the main structure to kind of serve as a HQ. And there's also some housing for the workers that have also been occupied by army personnel. So now that we've been dropped off, like I said, we're going to be moving to a position that is nearby to see if we can get a look on what exactly is going on. And then we'll actually be able to call in a couple of A-10s to drop some bombs on that position. That's probably going to be key because not only is it going to lighten the uh, amount of resistance that the 101st is going to face once we push in here, but it shouldn't trigger the fact that we are in this position. So I've got everybody behind me. Uh, I've going to be moving them up slowly behind me just in case I get caught in a pickle, but I just don't want these guys to open up and engage. This was a hill moving in that I saw was going to be probably pretty critical and give me a good advantage uh, or a good look over the area. I can already see the four oil wells that we were taking a look at earlier, and I think once I get to these rocks, I should be able to look up over the hill and finally see the entirety of the position. Okay, just in case though, I don't want everybody so far behind me that if I do get caught in a pickle, like there is a patrol or something like that, I just don't want them so far away that I'm gonna be out here on my own for a while. All right, we do have some bunkers set up, which does confirm what we were thinking about there being an army presence. It looked like two. Yep, there's a couple trucks around there as well. So we're gonna call in the A-10s now to drop their bombs on this position. We're gonna try to get them to hit that large structure that's kind of serving as the HQ. And we want to try to see if we can hit those vehicles so that way the forces that are there aren't going to be able to leave, at least not for a while. So I've, I've called it in. I'm now just waiting for them to get here. And I'm also just looking to see if there's any movement or anything like that around here that'll provide me some more information about how many forces might be in this area. Now, this isn't far away from the front. I don't know if you guys can hear some of the gunfire going off in the background, but. All right, there's A-10. One dropping its bombs. And it looks like they hit the vehicles that are out front. There's the second one, but I don't think it has dropped its bombs. I think it's doing a BDA, and then it's going to come around and try and hit something else. All right, so we've got some enemy forces out front. Kind of where those pipes and rocks are just moving around. 
Okay, so they're, they know something's up. Let's go ahead and fall back. Now what we're going to have to do is get to the position where the LZ is going to be, and we're going to have to secure it. Yes, there is only six of us, but like I was saying, I don't think they're going to be pushing this direction. There really is no indication at all that we are here. They have no knowledge. Oh, there's the other A-10 dropping a bomb. I was going to say, they have no idea that there's going to be a number of helicopters coming this way. So we've got the advantage here as we try and fall back to where we're going to have the LZ. There's obviously a lot of area around here that helicopters could land, but I still am pretty concerned about this position because of all the hills and mountains that we have around us. We could see Iranian forces push up and over, and we really wouldn't have that much of a heads up that it was happening. It's probably going to be once they get up over the hills, that's when we're going to know that they're there. So we want to kind of fall back a little bit. Now, time obviously has passed. You can see it is now early morning as we've got the Chinooks coming in. We've also got some Blackhawks that are going to be dropping off some troops. We're going to try and get as many as we can in this first wave since we do have the element of surprise. But I'm looking in the direction of the wells and still haven't seen anything yet. But knowing that the helicopters are just about here, I feel like that once the helicopters do get to this position, we're going to have the Iranian forces start pushing on this LZ because uh, that's going to be a dead giveaway that coalition forces are landing. They should be coming from the north the way that their flight path was supposed to take. Now I'm starting to hear the rotors and everything. There we go. There's the first Chinook. There should be some more coming right behind him. Now, at any minute, we're going to see some artillery start to fall around this position. That is obviously part of what we would see with an air assault. See, there you go. Just trying to make sure that the LZ is clear out in front of us. Once that stops, if we need to push forward, we will be able to. But I'm going to try and hold here with the rest of the forces as long as we can. Now, this is the part where I get the most worried. I know that these helos are going to be vulnerable as they're coming down, and I just do not know how quickly Iranian forces are going to respond because now it's a, a dead giveaway that something's going on. Not only do they hear the helicopters, but they likely see them coming in too. They're going to be coming from that way, so at least I know what direction that they're going to be coming from. All right, one Chinook is starting to land. Oh, they're engaging somebody on the hill right up here. Looks like we've got a few Iranian forces. I don't know if I necessarily want to open up yet. All of my guys are in a good position behind some of these rocks. But it looks like they're suppressing them pretty good. There's that first Chinook that's dropped off troops. We've got a Black Hawk opening up. They're going to do a lot more damage than we are. Oh, did we lose a helicopter? Okay, maybe I should be engaging these guys. Okay, that probably was not the smartest thing here. Especially, like, surprised I've been able to take down some of these guys. Actually, I thought I heard an explosion, but now I'm not hearing, like, a cook-off or anything. Yep. Here comes more of them, and here's another round of already well timed. Yep, they're starting to slowly push up, but they really don't stand a chance at driving us back. It's really just a matter of them trying to hit our helos. Oh, there's a whole squad coming up over that hill. Take out the marksman. I think if I push up to this rock, I'll have a better vantage point. A lot of rounds coming my way, but I'm starting to hear the, the gunfire from the rest of the 101st who have landed on the ground. So I think now we're just going to be in a position where we're going to have to bound up to where those wells are. But the problem is, now that they're tipped off that we're here, we could start to see some explosions come from that direction. Obviously, we want to end this mission with all those oil wells intact. Though if they all get destroyed, I'm counting this as a, a failed mission. I thought I dropped that guy. Is he throwing smoke? There we go. Yeah, he was throwing smoke. 
Doesn't really do much good if you're at the top of the hill and throw it at the base of the hill. Alright, as we start moving towards the oil wells, we do have the the rocks that we can use for cover. So we're not going to be out in the open as we're moving. Allows me to basically bound from position to position. Another round of arty. I think oh, we might have some movement up there. We do. Okay, here comes some more of our forces. Now those guys are going behind the hill. I'm going to wait to see where they pop out of. But I'm starting to feel pretty aggressive now that we should be moving. And I'm seeing the guys that are off to my right starting to push up. Even though we've got those guys on our left, we, we're running against the clock here. Okay, we're going to get everybody to regroup on me. No hostiles in sight. Awesome. We should have... That might be another platoon that we've got coming in now. All right, we're going to keep dropping these guys. They came over that crest pretty quickly. All right, we're just dropping them. They're heavily outnumbered. The fact that they're staying up there, skylining, and heavily outnumbered with no cover whatsoever... We're going to be able to make easy work of those guys. All right, they're down. Time to get moving. Obviously, I'm concerned about stamina, but I do want to try and move quickly. We'll try to see if we can stay being the lead element. All right, hearing some shots. It sounds like it's from the south at the top of that hill. Yep. All right, we got him. We'll keep moving. All right, that's that's pretty close to our position. Actually, it's moved up a little bit, so it might be a creeping barrage moving in the direction of the well, just protecting us as we move forward. Nothing right. Oh, somebody hit me with something. I'm hurt. Is it those guys that came around? I have no idea what that was. Uh, looks like it was my leg, so we'll just go ahead and apply that bandage. Obviously, it looks like it was not too bad. We're good. All right, time to push up now. Who is that? Oh, that's one of my guys. I wonder if he's just on point as everybody moves up to secure that position. That would be pretty smart. If we had our guys move to the top of these hills just to provide a base of fire while the rest of us move in. It's obviously a long way from the hills to where the oil wells are. But they'll likely be able to suppress the enemy as we try and move in. Okay, so I think we've taken care of wave number one of the Iranians. Not seeing anybody. What I'm going to have to do is, as we're moving up, I'm going to look to see if there's any engineers running out of the HQ that is, or that are moving to those oil wells. Because chances are they're the ones who have the explosives. They'll try and set it up and demo the oil wells. So if I see people running out of that HQ, they're going to be my primary targets. Now it looks like from here to the oil wells, if I take a direct route, I'm not going to have really too many hills between me and them. It's just going to be all about these rocks okay now the question is where are the next set of forces barrage still pushing forward oh we've got a lot of guys at the oil wells now the artillery is only going to be able to go so far since we're trying to protect the oil wells we don't want to risk damaging them All right, we've got guys on the wells themselves. We've got guys out front. I see like a whole squad. 
Alright, this is gonna be pretty tough. A lot of these guys are aggroed. Just ran right in front of me, dude. I mean, from this range, too, I'm not getting a clear indication of if I'm hitting those guys from a longer range. Now, these guys who are, are closer, I'm able to see where the dust kicks up from my rounds. All right, more guys that are coming up, pushing this way. It's going to be pretty neutral here as far as terrain goes. We're both going to have the rocks. But I think... As long as these guys don't push up too far, they're going to be in a position where they'll have more guys engaging us. So I can't rush in quite yet. Is that somebody? Yes, that is somebody behind these rocks. That guy honestly could have stayed there for quite a while. It would have been tough to hit him, at least from my position. Still got the smoke going from the vehicles. I didn't lead him enough there. This guy's... There we go. I was going to say he's refusing to go down. The other forces that we've got closer to the oil wells, I'm going to try and just slow them up here. And I'm going to have my guys start to move up a little bit more towards the left. Oh, we might have some guys pushing up on the left that are Iranian. Just from what I'm hearing... Got a lot of gunfire coming from that direction. It could be obviously the friendlies that I've got on the hill. Uh, so let's get going. Like I said, I want to try to be the lead element here, and I think we can, as long as we stay aggressive. Um, let's try to see if we can get a more wide open view. That's why I'm going to be moving this way. But we've got a bunker off to the left that I'm conscious of. And if I start moving up that direction, which I probably do, I want to make sure that it is clear. I, I'm not able to see anybody in that bunker. That's not to say that there is nobody in there. It's just there's nobody I can engage. So let's go to some of these other guys uh, that are in a decent position to really slow us up. All right, these guys, for example, I think I'm just hitting the rock. Bounding. Still moving. That bunker right in front of me. I'm going to have to take a look from this angle. If there's anybody else I can see. Yep, there's somebody in there. Oh, I got him. I see somebody glitching out of the wall. Ooh. That's much closer than I was thinking that that already was going to be. These guys now are my primary concern. I should be able to keep moving down the line. Okay, I think I've got range figured out. Also the wind. Let's get this last guy up here. We got him. Oh, these guys who are a little bit higher up, they're going to be tough to hit. Let's get the, the guys that I've got a better chance dropping oh dude scared me right there you know what if he can move up there I can too all right new position that guy's gonna be getting behind one of the oil derricks let's move a little bit closer okay good position right here gonna go prone if I can I don't like that a lot of guys that are out in the open Man, I wish I could just set up right here I could stabilize my weapon a lot more on the ground but it's gonna tilt me at an angle um, that guy's gonna be really hard to hit again let's go with the Higher percentage shots. Wow. Maybe I got some hits. They just didn't move, but I didn't drop any of them. 
All right, we're going close. So I'm going to try and move up to that bunker. Looking at how we've got the, the terrain, specifically the hill that this bunker is on, I'm going to be protected as I get closer to it from a lot of the enemies that are out in the open. All right, more reinforcements coming in. Looks like some of my other guys opened up another LZ or have it secure. So we're gonna drop those forces in and keep pushing. Now, I don't think there's any chance whatsoever that the Iranians are gonna reinforce at all. Uh, try and throw a grenade in here. Oh, dang it, that did not work. Cause there's a guy right there. Someone hit me. I just have no idea from where. Oh, there's somebody. Oh, I really lucked out. He was reloading. Alright, this area is clear. Nope. Alright, I am going to take this opportunity. That guy's still up. Uh, I'm gonna get patched up here. Like I said, we've got those other guys that are moving in now and they're gonna help support us as we move in now to the main compound. There are still some additional bunkers and everything around here, but I think we'll be all right. Okay, let's take a look at the main compound and what we've got. Uh, HQ was destroyed, but I'm gonna have to move in there. It looks like that some of these Compounds that are being used for housing, which are now being used as barracks. Now, there's some rounds going in that direction. So I'll have to clear those out one at a time, too. Great vantage point right here over the entire area. A lot of those bunkers right here have been cleared out. We've got this bunker up there, too. All right. Um, for the most part, it's looking pretty good. A10s did their job. We're just gonna have to check just the last few things. There might be more than one building in there too. I can't remember actually if there's a, a second large building like that HQ. I'll have to look at. Okay, I think we've got the oil wells, at least the forces outside taken care of. And I also think that we were able to take out everybody. Hold on, can I move? Can I move? There we go. All right, again, more reinforcements. So we're gonna have this position secured. It's just a matter of time. Yeah, three more Chinooks coming in. Uh, how many oil wells? Oh, we've lost two oil wells. Dang it. I, I think they ended up getting destroyed while I was patching myself up. That's pretty frustrating. Okay, so we've got guys that are moving to the other two oil wells. They'll be able to protect them and make sure nobody else is moving to try and destroy them. You can see those guys that are off on the right. So if anybody does start running out that way, it's not gonna be uh, good for them. Still rounds being fired means the area is not clear, but we'll keep pushing up, be a lot more aggressive with things here. Go from this rock to some of the pipes. See, I see rounds going off over here. Oh yeah, it looks like there's a guy at the door. See, it might be one of those things where he could shoot out, but we can't hit him. O'Brien, that's three times now somebody's ran in front of me. All right, pushing up. If my guys aren't engaging anybody, I'm gonna keep moving. I'm just worried that we might have some guys that are prone in these pipes, or we might have guys that are prone inside of these bunkers. I mean, they could have ran away too. Now what I'm trying to do is look inside of the windows of the barracks, not seeing anything. 
Okay, we're up against the wall. I think it's time to push in. Anybody in these windows? No. All right, I should be able to sprint into it, this position. Okay, one guy down in here. I'm pretty confident if there was anybody inside of this building, they'd be goners. Got guys who are down out in the open. Let's get up here and take a look. Oh yeah, there is one more building. Oh, somebody in the bottom left window. Got him. I might have to just push up into that second story, see if that's clear. Got that bunker that's a little bit farther off. I don't think anybody's gotten any decent shots on that bunker, so we'll likely have enemy forces inside of that one too. I'm just gonna drop right here. Again, nothing here I can see. I was just worried if I came around that corner looking in some of these windows, there'd be somebody just waiting to open up on me, so I'll, I'll surprise him here. Since there's nobody in there, I think I'm good. I think shots coming from that bunker. I just can't see where he is because of the camo netting here. Time to make a mad dash, I think, for the door. Let's do it. Oh, yeah, definitely somebody over there. Those rounds were close, but they didn't get me. We'll see if those guys will be able to move in and, and take him. Looks like they threw a frag or and are looking in the direction of the bunker. All right, first floor is clear. Let's move up to the second floor. Reload before I move up, just in case. Okay. So I'm waiting to hear what's going to happen. And I come across this guy as I'm moving up. To see, you can hear more gunfire going on outside. Off to my left. I just don't see him. Oh, there he is. He's in that bunker. Got him before he could get me. All right, so it's now that bunker. With these bunkers that are down here, they're going to be the, the biggest problems. Is that a tank? Like I see some guys that are out there. Yeah, I'm I'm getting off of this position. That has got to be like a T-72 or something like that. Whatever it is, I think it was just destroyed. I'm hearing an A-10 overhead, so we were saved right there. Yep, there they are. Oh man, saved my bacon right there. Taking out the last few guys out there too. Oh, someone right here. Two guys right there. So we still have people inside of these buildings. I'm just gonna have to go room by room. Yeah, nobody there. Or there. Last room, feeling confident, we're good. Okay, we're just gonna have to look into some of these other buildings and see if anybody else is in here. If that is the case, then I feel like we've got this mission, mission completed. Yeah, see these guys have been dropped. We've got some of my guys checking the other areas too. And we're going to send the A-10s, I think, to hit those last couple bunkers. Just do some gun runs on it. If I remember right, it's just wood ceilings to them, so it's going to have no problem taking out anybody that's inside. Whew. Okay. Here comes the last little bit. Again, feeling confident. I just hope I'm not getting too overconfident. There we go. Alright, 
area is secure, so we've got this. All right, big, big part for Iranian economy post-war, so I'm glad we've at least got a couple of these taken care of. Obviously, more to come later on, so make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already. It's been nice getting alternate history going again and getting this up and, and running. So big thanks again to Wolf and everybody else who's been helping me out with these. It is amazing. See, there's A-10 dropping some bombs. All right, thanks for watching, you guys. I appreciate it. If you have watched this all the way through, go ahead and put oil in the comment section so I know which episode you ended up watching. Obviously, big thanks to everybody at Patreon for making this possible. I really appreciate all of you. And if you guys want to help support me on Patreon, just check the description below. But anyway, thanks for watching. War is hell. You don't have to worry because Warfighters, I've got your six.